Hello, my name is Dr. Greg Simcoe, and can you recover from a stroke? Well, I'm here to tell you that most certainly you can. I'm going to demonstrate this by three stories. The first story is about an individual who had a stroke in 1958. His name is Pedro Baki Rita. Now, Pedro was a professor, and he suffered a massive stroke where he was unable, unable to walk or speak. Now, his son was a neurophysician in the United States, and he decided to leave his practice to help his father recover. He had no idea how to help his father, so he decided to just say his father was a baby again. And he taught him how to walk by first teaching him how to crawl and actually forced him to utilize the parts that didn't work. Very interesting story to the point where he was able to walk again, he was able to lecture again, and by the time he was 75, he had already remarried and was hiking up mountains. He did die of a heart attack nothing to do with the stroke. And they did an autopsy on his brain and discovered that large areas of his brain were dead, gone. So they couldn't understand how he was able to recover. The second story is about a woman named Patricia Neal. Now, she was a famous Hollywood actress many years ago, and she just died in 2010, August of 2010. Now, Patricia Neal had suffered a stroke while making a Hollywood movie, and it was debilitating. It basically left her paralyzed and unable to speak. Now, at the time, her physician told her husband that you may be sorry that I saved her life. Now, the husband refused to accept that, and he decided that he was going to push her to recovery. Very interesting. She, within two years, she was able to make another movie. Quite a feat for someone who couldn't walk or speak. Now, the third story is something very personal, and it's about me. Now, I suffered a stroke nearly 12 years ago, over 12 years ago, and my stroke was debilitating. I couldn't walk, couldn't use my arms, couldn't see really, and could not speak very well. Um, but I decided that I was going to push myself, and I did not accept how I lived or how it was going to be. I had a small boy at the time that I wanted to be able to play baseball with him. So I pushed myself. I used what couldn't be used. I fell quite often. And I've recovered, as you can see. So, can you recover from a stroke? You bet you can. Now, what is the secret? The secret is something called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is basically the ability of your brain to learn new things and create pathways that make those new learned things easy to do. We use neuroplasticity to learn a language or to drive a car or to ride a bike or to walk or to throw a baseball or to shoot baskets with a basketball. All that is learned activity and you use neuroplasticity. Now the secret here also is that our brain has billions of nerve cells. Now these billions of nerve cells are not all used. They say we only use 10% of our brain and there's a really good reason why. Those billions of nerve cells are sort of a reserve. If you have uh, nerves that die that move your arm, you can recruit other nerves that haven't been used to create new pathways to be able to move your arm again. The secret is to just move your arm. I know that sounds really difficult, but you have someone help you move your arm or someone to get you off that wheelchair and stand on your leg. Any kind of pressure, any kind of movement in your limbs, anything will actually fire up your brain and get those neurons working again. So the secret is that you need to use what you can't use and you need to get help from your friends or your neighbors or your spouse to be able to move the things if you can't move them all. Moving them every day, as many times a day, will actually create neural pathways and help you move those limbs again on your own. It'll take a while. It took me three years to get back to work, and then another four years after that to get back to being in practice again. Now, this is something you can do for yourself. And if you can't do that for yourself, you need to find someone to help you. And if you can't find someone to help you, find a physician to know what neuroplasticity is and how he or she can make your life better. Thank you. Have a great day.